previously on TFT Radio. Fentanyl is a synthetic opioid that is up to 50 times stronger than heroin. In your extensive experience at DEA, you know, do you find that fentanyl is being laced into uh, what people believe to be Percocet? 100%, yes. You know black, black folks, they own no Percocets. Oh. Just the hatred. Oh damn cheese. Or oh, oh, the new whopper. The new, no the new whopper. on my burger. That don't make no damn sense. A grandmother, her son, and her granddaughter were found brutally beaten and murdered in their Bentley Drive home. For a man's life consisted not in the abundance of the things. Your life is not gonna get no better with no damn Jordans. Huh. Right. To the point where you murder. You know what you are? You're an ancient Israelite. Ancient Israelite. <laughs> Do you want to remain ancient Israelites or you want to be Jews? These folks are crafty as hell. Jedi mind trick. I carry my cross on my back. My home is so stuck in the trap. Going hard, ain't no time to relax. Keeping my mind on the throne. Applying the stuff I've been shown. Been pacing through all of my walls. Been pacing through all of my walls. And I'm out here painting this picture. It came from the scriptures. I'm changing my mind now. And I've been examples. I've seen some examples. So I think it's just about time now. To break the old habits and clean all the addicts. And yes, we are changing our life now. And when life gives us lemons, we turn into vengeance. We're strong in the Lord and His might now. I just cannot stay the same All the wisdom I've been given I spent hoping with the pain And the people that I love They think that I've gone insane When it gets gritty and look at real If they pull up and show on they face, yeah It's the blood in my veins, yeah I cannot stand to complain, yeah Put it in so there's a change, yeah Put it in so there's a shame, yeah I'm the only one to blame, yeah So I've been switching my lanes, yeah Before that's all in my chain, yeah Ay, Cause what it don't matter, man Straight to the religion, it's only a few to stay true and some tripping. Angel, if you got no clue when you slipping, it's time to renew and stop foolishly sinning. Cause we the ones set apart from the beginning. All that is filled with the thing that's forbidden. Walking in life and I move with no vision. I'm moving like fell to my mind, steady swimming. Oh. That's it. Hey, he went to the Israelites and said, You are the Israelites. But I got a question. Do you want to remain the Israelites? Or do you want to become Jewish? Wow. Y'all, but it's, it's right, a powerful right, nigga right, trick right, on right. here. <laughs> so them Jewish fables, you can already see they, the white man has got a beard on. But I don't see nobody in that picture with a beard on. The yarmulke. They got the dumb, made, little, they got the dumb little hat on their right. head. Nah, I was just getting there. Uh-huh. The yarmulke is something the Jewish right. man made up. It's not biblical at all. Exactly. But. They have it on. So the white man is actually making mockery of it, saying, I already got you under my control. Exactly. Right? You're under right. my rule. Let's just make it known to the world. These fools, and I'm saying fools because I mean fools, like they are they are literally, they're already uh, 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 living by Jewish customs already. You see this? Right. They're already embedded into Jewish customs. But they were bringing document, documentation saying that, look, we we we're the ancient Israelites anyway. Like we are the ancient Israelites, but you already indulged into their culture. Now he comes and says, "Do you want to remain ancient Israelites, right. or do you want to become Jewish?" Unbelievable. You better shut your Yo. white mouth. I'm not kidding. <laughs> that is crazy. You can't make this up. Right. And our brothers. Now the decision. What do you think their decision is going to be? Jewish. Jewish. Yeah. Of course. They want, they want to be like the so-called white man. Let's, let's get the script. I, got, yeah, I, 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 was, I was about to give you one, hey, Go man. ahead. Let's, let's get it. You want to go ahead first? Yo, yo let me go get ahead. Psalms 55. <laughs> let's get it. Psalms 55. I and, like that uh, one. 21. Bring it out. <laughs> you Bring can't it make out. this stuff up. Psalms so, 55, 21. Go ahead. Psalms chapter 55, verse 21. Bring it out. The words of his mouth 
were smoother than butter. That's exactly what he doing. He in the room, chugging, jiving, laughing with him, and saying, y'all are the ancient Israelites. Ain't that the same thing as the Jews, mm -hmm. the real Jews? Go ahead. But war mm. was in his heart. That's what it is. He's a war and he's destroying a spirit, though. Right. He's taking over. He got, like like Bishop Yawasop like to say, he done set up shop in the brain. As exactly. you know, obviously, Yana and I like to get up in there, you know, to massage the brain. Go ahead. His words were softer than oil, uh -huh. yet were they drawn swords. These men don't even understand this war going on in that room. Nope. They don't even get it. Nope. Right. They don't get it. This dude come in there smooth as heck and trying to kill them all. What you, Unbelievable. What you got, Marshall? Titus 1 and 14. I get it. Because I quoted it. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Bring it up. Titus chapter 1, verse 14. Start at verse 13. Start at verse 13. Verse 13. Go ahead. This witness is true. Go ahead. Wherefore, rebuke them sharply. So, our brothers, we love them dearly. But these are the type of brothers that we would have to rebuke sharply because their they mind is so gunked up in what the white man got to say. Read on. That they may be sound in faith. So they understand that the Israelites, but why aren't they keeping the customs right. of our people? Uh -huh. no that they may be, there's no soundness. There's no value. They, they don't rely on the scriptures. Mm -hmm. They rely on the white man more so than anything. But read on. Not giving heed to Jewish fables. The white man is making it sound real good, but black man, he is lying to you. Rook. Right. Lying like a mug. Lying like, like a mug. And exactly. it sounds so right. sweet. He's trying, he trying to speak peace to his neighbors. Right. <laughs> but th that smooth, buttery words Ooh, is going to get your black behind killed. Right. Read on. And commandments of men. Co that's why they got the yarmulke on. Yes. The commandment of men is leading them astray. Read on. That Turn from the truth. So the truth of God's laws, they've turned from because they're relying on the white man and his Jewish fables. Exactly. Right, right. Exactly. You got something? You got something? I, I, I got something because, you know, if you know that you the ancient Israelites, you also know who he is. Right. And, right. You, and you're going to sit there and not that. that. <laughs> so give me 1 Corinthians uh, 10 and verse, uh, we'll start at 21. Bring it up. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 21. Bring it up. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. They know that that man is the devil. Mm -hmm. They know that man done stole their identity. And they're going to sit there and give up their uh, identity to become Jewish. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And where do you think that's going to lead you? Straight to hell. Straight to death. That's really? it. Ye cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and of the table of devils. Right mm -hmm. then and there, you know, he say, choose you this day whom you're going to serve. Mm -hmm. Hey, they getting ready to like they hey that smile that coon smile they shutting their showing right they're gonna join right there with yeah that mother's talking about something that I mean why you call him devil though officer hey, why, why? <laughs> why you call him devil though why because the Bible call <laughs> him the devil. Bible call him a Damn. devil <laughs> that's right <laughs> exactly they get Proverbs get Psalms Psalms twenty eight verse three they gonna be like old buddy. Did with Deacon them. <laughs> Bless me. Bless me. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. You come in and bless me in the, in the tabernacle. <laughs> <laughs> come to the tabernacle. Bless me. Read that. Psalms chapter 28, verse 3. Bring it out. Draw me not away with the wicked. That's what we're supposed to be. Our mindset, that's what we're supposed to be thinking. Ancient, ancient Israelites, you got to automatically go to the Proverbs and know what's going on. Really? Draw me not away with the wicked. Come on. And with the workers of iniquity. These are the workers of iniquity. They have, right. they have done a hard work. They put in bricks to steal our land, our language, right. and our culture. Right. And they are continuing to push their doctrine to conform the people that are on the land to follow after Jewish customs. Right. Read. Which speak peace. They what? Mm. Which speak peace. Peace mm -hmm. to their neighbors. Do you want to remain ancient Israelites or do you want to become Jewish? Read on. But mischief. But what? But mischief is in their hearts. But mischief is in their oh, yeah. minds because if Ew. you go by ancient customs, you're going to put my ass to death. Right, right. Mm. If you go by ancient customs, then you understand that I'm here to steal, rob, rape, murder, pillage. That's what I'm here to do. Right. I need you to follow these Jewish customs. Right. Can't make that stuff then up. You go hump the wall. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. I need you to hump the wall. You know what I mean? So you get, get away from that ancient stuff. Right. 
and that mischief, and it go it goes all full. Circle. Everything that we've dealt with today goes full circle. It goes back to that uh, mischief being that covetousness yeah, that right. they push yep. in our community. Because these gentlemen are going to end up being the uh, uh, the henchmen or taskmasters that are going to push that doctrine. Yeah, right. amongst that, their people that call that that caused the young brothers to kill for Jordans. Right. That caused right. the young women to prostitute themselves because they have no hope. They're not going to teach hope to their people. Right. They're just going to teach subservience, right, right. being a servant. Exactly. Hey, get on Wisdom of Solomon 14 and 22. Because um, y'all mentioned that, that they don't even realize that that brother, that so-called Edomite is at war with them in that room right there, right? right. Let's see the type of warfare it is. Wisdom of Solomon 14 and 22. Mm. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 14, verse 22. Go ahead. Moreover, this was not enough for them. That what? That they erred in the knowledge of God. All of those brothers wearing their beanies and whatever's going on, you can tell it. They they know they Israelites, Ebo elders or whatever, but they erred in the knowledge of the Most High God. Right. Read. But whereas they lived in the great war of ignorance. They don't even know the value of being an Israelite. They don't know the value of their own nationality to the point where the, you can have a, a damn devil come in the midst of them and say, would you rather be an Israelite or uh, from Israel or a Jew or Jewish? That's ignorant as hell. Yeah. They, they don't know it's the same thing and that they're losing that war right now. But watch what happens. Read. Those so great plagues. Because it's a plague to be a proverb and a byword and discontinue yep. from your heritage, not right. know who your enemy is, not know who you are. Read. Called they... Peace. And they feel like they're, they're at peace. Right. They feel like God, that, that script you just brought out in yeah. Psalms. They feel like this is a peace offering from this Jewish man coming to, to enlighten them even more. Mm -hmm. How they, how they going to want to be validated? Right. By the very same people that 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 has pushed us to all the four corners of the earth. How did, Why we got to have validation of them to say we the real Jews? Mm -hmm. Right. You know you are. You trying to explain it to them for what? Shoot, it don't even matter. It's crazy. <laughs> exactly. Drop that. Go to the next article. Right there. Read that. Mm. U.S. News. BBC staffer brands Jewish people, Nazis, and parasites cause white people a virus mm. in disturbing social media posts. But did she lie, though? No. no. She did not, not lie, lie at all. Did she? They don't, that I, that, 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 that sounds like the truth to me. That's the truth. This is you a damn parasite, man. That's what you are. <laughs> You've been a parasite from your conception. Right. You were born a parasite. You die a parasite. Right. You a parasite. That's why we're waiting on Christ to come back. Yeah. He, he is the orchid right. man. Yeah. That parasite. Yeah. He is definitely that. Stroll down. Stroll down. Oh, what, is that a video? What? Is, let me play the video. I ain't watched the video. Let's see what this video says. BBC employee accused of branding Jewish people Nazis and calling white people parasites. Come on. There she go, the sister right there. Don Quiva, a senior scheduling coordinator at BBC Three, has come under fire for pushing hateful conspiracy theories on Facebook. Oh, it's a hateful. How How is is that? It ain't hateful. hateful. It ain't hate if it's the truth. <laughs> right. What Can't the hell? Right. Yeah. Come on. Among the racist posts, she called the Holocaust in which six million Jews were killed the Hollow Hawks. The Hollow Hawks? <laughs> yeah, hoax. Hoax, hoax. Excuse me. And referred to Ashkenazi Jews as Ashkenazi. Oh, uh, she got that from no. Bishop yes, right. Right. Daniel, yes, she she right. the general of Israel, United in Christ. She's been listening. She's been listening. Hey, see what Officer Yuri in Atlanta done started? Ashkenazi. I see that? You, they, this is, the, this is how you know it's brothers and sisters out there watching right. that exactly. are in high stature in our, right. in our community yep. that we don't know about. Right. And then when they get fed up, that truth starts spewing. It starts spilling up out of there, yep. and you get your ass fired. But you know, <laughs> right. bring it out, right? You know I mean? But hey, the truth. Hey, you lose your job, then we, 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 you lose the job, right? Lose the job. But be Most a little I bit smarter. You. Be a little bit smarter on the next one. The Most I got you. Hey, you come work with us, right? right. Man, Never seen yeah, a righteous man, begging. Bread. She gonna call them the Ashkenazi Jews. In other words, Ashkenazis. Oh, that came that came out of the that's general's that's mouth, right? Period. Right. You, we know you watching, sis. You keep paying attention. Go ahead, play on. Without com com commenting on the Cueva specially, specifically. specifically, a BBC spokesperson said they do not tolerate anti-Semitism 
Islamophobia or any form of ev- abuse. Unless it happens to <laughs> Negroes. It's abuse now? Yeah. Unless it happens to Negroes. Right, right. So yeah. BB, BBC, right? Ain't that the same people that slandered us? Yes, right. yes. Slandered, yes. slandered us. Why yes. didn't no white people get fired for doing that? Because yes. that was straight up hatred because they lied. Lied. You lied. Straight up oh, lied. Because it's ran by Jewish You favorites. can't make that stuff What's up. What's his name? Uh, green, black. Right. <laughs> black. <laughs> You didn't pronounce it right. Black. <laughs> black. They, they do not to- tolerate anti-Semitism, it Islamophobia. Islamophobia. That's some new look, look, that's right. a new right. one. Go watch the, how about the truth? They will never put that on there. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. Unbelievable. Nah. Play on. It's not the first time the network has been caught in the crosshairs of covering the Israel-Hamas war. Play on. So in other words, they, because they're covering the Israel-Hamas war, it's showing, it's showing, it's pulling up the skirt right. of these mm-hmm. uh, so-called Jewish people. You pull their, their skirts are being pulled up, and all that shame is being seen there. Y'all are a bunch yeah. of damn liars, right. man. You a parasite and always has been. Right. That's what that's what that that last statement meant. Go ahead. October 2023, journalist Noah Abrahams, 22, spoke to Talk TV about his decision to quit the BBC over their refusal to call Hamas terrorists. So they refused to call Hamas terrorists. Why you think that? Because they know. Because they the damn terrorists, man. Right. right. <laughs> they know what's really going on. They the damn, they the real terrorists, bro. They, they are the real terrorists. Right. Them kids Literally. over there that they killing ain't Hamas. Right. No. They killing children. They're bombing schools. Right. Them school, them little them, them schools where them little babies at, that ain't Hamas. Breaking no. international war uh, uh committing international war crimes. Yeah. Right. That international. Mean, that's why they like, you know what? We're not gonna say, we're not saying anything about that. Right. You know? There, in fact, there's a I got another clip. Play on. I know we over our time, but we need it today. A personal announcement from me, I will no longer work for or represent the BBC. No more games this season. No more input. Play. They are not as John Simpson refers to them as gunmen. They are terrorists. And there are probably people watching who will be thinking, this boy, my God, has thrown it all away because of some words. But terminology, words, when neglected, have the power to fuel hate they have the power play on but to put fuel on the fire so go to the article right go out of that go to the article so we can read what the sister said hmm. uh stroll down blow that up blow that up right there this guy look on face sis like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. i'm about to say something yeah, yeah what it is <laughs> right you know what this job. <laughs> Make sure to beep that out. <laughs> boop, boop. Yeah, read. A BBC staffer is under fire for a string of anti Semitic Facebook posts in which she referred to Jewish people as as Nazi apartheid parasites. Damn! <laughs> and, called, and called white people a virus. She ain't lie. You're a damn virus. Come on. Don Quaver, senior scheduling coordinator. And play out planner at BBC Three made many of the troubling since deleted posts over the last few months. Deadline revealed. So think about it. You got to be a virus. Only a virus can spread from one country to the next country and right. create straight right. havoc, right. straight damage, yep. straight destruction. That's a virus. Right. So white white people are a virus. I'm right. just saying. Go back to the article. In one rant. Quaver, whose profile appeared under the name Don Los Quavas. Somebody get that and send her a fly. Send her, send her the link. She ain't right. like she ain't already watching. Come on. Allen called Jewish people Nazi apartheid parasites and accused them of funding a hollow hoax, the outlet said. Mm. She also made several posts criticizing Israel and Zionism, including one in which she referred to a bunch of subcontinental European melanin received. Recessive <laughs> Caucasians, Japhetic, Ashkenazi, who have no known, no none, zero 
Zilch. Zilch, blood connection to the land of Palestine or Israel historically. Boom. Right. Start it up. Start it up. Hey, a bomb. That's fire right there. How you know she listening? That's she fire. used Jephetic. Yeah. You don't, that's that's, not, that's that not a normal know. word to be hey, putting in a, a statement. As a right. journalist, you ain't getting that deep into it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Jephetic. Jephetic. Put, put the article back up. We're going we we to try to get through it because she got fired. Some of Cueva's disturbing posts go back nearly a decade. In 2014, scroll go like, up. Like y'all moved it, yeah. In 2014, she referred to Israel as Israel. <laughs> the Times of Israel said, "The Zionist genocidal land squatting so-called Jew." What? So-called Jew. Read that part no, no, again. The the squat, squatting. The Zionist genocidal. The, the Zionist genocidal because they got to rid first. They they rid us out of the land. Right. Right. Then the Palestinians came into the land. Mm-hmm. Now they're trying to rid the Palestine, the right. Palestinians out of the land by genocide. Right. So she ain't lying. <laughs> Read on. The, the Zionist genocidal land squatting. Land squatting. <laughs> they came. They squatted the land, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they never squatted. leave. They never <laughs> leave. They, they, they po- that's posted. They just trying to wait it out. And, 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 not, and trying to push the Palestinians out so they can say that they're in control of the entire landmass oh, of Israel now. <laughs> These people are the damn Man. devil, bro. Read, play, read on. Squatting so-called Jew, irrespective of the fact that the UKKK, the UK, wow. the United, the United Ku Klux Klan, and America, America, America gave away land they had no God-given right to a people who have no God-given right to. Come on, <laughs> man! Ooh. Come on, man! She, she was watching. Hey, get his sister a hand, yeah, man. man. Get Oh, oh hey, man. This is the She's dropping balls on the air, man. She heard that class that Bishop dropped. She, heard yeah, that yeah. she, she, she was heard listening that. to uh, Inspired. that Nazi and Ashkenazi class yeah, that Bishop right. brought up a few weeks ago, man. That Ezekiel, th- what is that, 36? Yeah, 36, yeah. 37. That, that, that's he said, all that right there. Yeah, man. Come on, man. Go back to the article. You ain't got to. You ain't got to. Yeah, let's go. Right. Quaver, who previously worked for A, a plus E Networks, UK TV, and Disney, according to Deadline, also repeatedly took aim at white people mm-hmm. to whom she referred to as a virus and a mutant invader species. She ain't lying. Get Genesis 25, 25. Mm-hmm. She ain't lying. Get Genesis 25. Hit that. You are a mutant. Hey. You something new on the earth. We don't, we did not know what you were. Hey, I sent but the, now we know that you are the virus. I sent the photo right. on the show run showing that virus to the white man. Mm-hmm. Hey, read that. Genesis chapter 25, verse 25. And the first came out red. This is the mutant. Read it again. And the first came out red. The mutant? Come on. All over like an hairy garment. This thing was red and hairy when it came out. It was a damn mutant. Yeah. Read. And they called his name Esau. They had to call his name Esau, which means red. What wasted, the wasted, wasted away, away is he? <laughs> what the hell is that? Like you pull this thing comes out and you like come out like that alien. Look, and <laughs> 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 hey, you like they like what the hell? What is this? Yeah. <laughs> wasted away. That thing is wasted away, man. Get rid of that thing. Come on. Verse twenty six. And after that came his brother out. So now his brother's born, being born. Come on. And his hand took hold on Esau's heel. That's prophecy. We ain't going to jump into that read. And his name was called Jacob. So why they ain't named Jacob Color? Because he looked like right. everybody, everybody else. Everybody he was, else. So he was not a mutant. Right. So what she said, go back to the article. Go back to the article. Read that part again. Who previously worked for A Plus E Networks, UK TV, and Disney, according to Deadline, also repeatedly took aim at white people. Repeatedly. Come on. To whom she referred as a virus uh-huh. and a mutant invader species. Now pull up the uh the uh the thing that Officer Kasai just posted about the virus. Pull this thing right. up. This is th- this is how you know that in Genesis 25, 25, when it's talking about this red and hairy mutant, we just you know what I'm saying? Let's go put mutant right there. Right. Because that's what it is. It's mutated. <laughs> this red and hairy mutant, this is what it's talking about. Pull that up, the virus. Go ahead, officer. There you go. 
Look at look at look at the virus and how it spread across the entire globe. That's what it does. Get on Genesis twenty seven, dealing with Esau and the viruses. This is what the Most High said about this man. Twenty seven verse thirty nine. Genesis chapter twenty seven verse thirty nine. Mm -hmm. And Isaac his father answered and said unto him. So Isaac is about to give Esau his blessing. This is who. This is how we identify who this virus is today. Read. Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. The best parts of the earth, that's where they're going to be located at. That's what they're going to conquer. That's where they're going to take over. Read. And of the dew of heaven from above. Read on. And by thy sword. By the what? By thy sword. You're looking at all of these viruses, military bases on that map right there. That's why that sister was in the spirit. She understood it. The, the Oscar Nazis and the white man in America are the same, same exact people. people. Read. Mm -hmm. And by thy sword shalt thou live. Read on. And shalt serve thy brother. And it shall come to pass, when thou shalt have the dominion, mm -hmm. that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. We're living in those times now mm -hmm. where hey. they have broken the yoke. No, no, no. Are you done? Yes, sir. Yes, oh, get sir. out in Maccabees then. Get that in yeah. Maccabees. Uh, Maccabees 8 and 4. First Maccabees 8 and 4. Let me see. That's what I want? Yep. Yeah, read that. First Maccabees 8, verse 4. First Maccabees chapter 8, verse 4. And that by their policy. By their what? And by their policy. America's policy has been set up all over the earth. That's that virus. Right. Their policy is a damn virus. That's why they can control or put embargoes on you. Exactly. Right. Read it again. And that by their policy uh -huh. and patience. And they be patient with it. They, that's why the scriptures say they, they sit up all night. They do it. They acquire evil in their mind all night long. And when they wake, they practice that thing. <laughs> Come on. They had conquered all the place. They did what? They had conquered all the place. Put that map back up. Put that map back up and read that again. And that by their policy, that by their policies, all their their policies, procedures, their their uh Democratic uh party, right. their Republican party, right. come on, and patience, come on, they had conquered all the places. Look at this damn map. That's ridiculous. <laughs> eight hundred. What is it? Eight forty-five. <laughs> yeah. Golly, bro. Come on, Reed. Though it were very far from them. Look, look, because their their base is set up in America. How in the hell? How in the hell they got the whole? They got the world covered, man. What the, the hell is this? Right. They got their bases and their policies, their military set up everywhere. Read. And the kings also that came against them from the uttermost part of the earth, till they had discomfited them. So this is how they have set them. They have this. They have discomfited. Every other kingdom on the, everybody's under the rule of America. Right. Everybody's under the policies of America. If you don't do it, them embargoes, yep. you know what I'm saying? They're going to get set up Shut on you. Shut down right. all that stuff. Oh, you don't want to do that? All your trade. All your trade gone. Right. Done. Read on. Finish that out. And giving them a great overthrow. Uh huh. So that the rest did give them tribute every year. Now they, pay, now, now they give tribute. You go look at the back of your damn shirt. Right. Bro, that's cold. That, that, that damn shirt say "Made in China." <laughs> thing make you, that thing make you want to mark your Bible up. I gotta mark that. Thing. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> hey, go back to the article. Go back to the article. Gotta stay in the spirit and roll with us. Like Bishop say, roll. Is with that the, the post spirit. that she posted to her divine? Uh, yes, that's her post. Let's read on and get to her post, and then we are gonna get ready to close out. We 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 almost at. Two hours, man. It's all good, though. It's all good. <laughs> marathon. Whoever editor, whoever editor, whoever editor, marathon. Whoever editor right. got to do a part two. You got to do two parts, bro. It is what it is. Let go. Yes, Several of her sir. posts refer to Great Britain as the UKKK in reference to the Ku Klux Klan. Uh huh. In another update, she wrote that the white people were a barbaric. A what? A <laughs> barbaric. Come on. Bloodthirsty. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm. Rapacious. Rap, rap, uh, rap. Uh, rap. Rap. Come on. Murderous. Genocidal, thieving, parasitical, <laughs> deviant, breed. <laughs> Damn. Hey, that sister hey, going on, man. Man. That sister got an A in English. Oh, I right, 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 right. right. What is that word? Oh, man. man. Oh, man. Hey, you got to look it. that up, man. Yeah, man. What, which one you want to look up? Rapacious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, got it right hey, there. That ain't any regular black people. Aggressively right greedy or grasping. God, God. damn. 
Hey, mercenary, she never, predatory. She never lied. Right. Insatiable. She never lied. Mm. That's Crazy. them. Oh right. shoot, insatiable. Yep. <laughs> I got it. Voracious. Right. You serious? Doctor right. Marshall is adding it to the to the to the book. Right. That's, right. That's, right. Going, to the, <laughs> that's going to the book. That right. That's going in his vocabulary. That's so rapacious. Hey, we I, all. That's, several of her posts were removed or restricted by Facebook. Well, we know about that, don't we? Come on. Mm. Including an early January incident in which her activity was restricted for bullying and hate speech. Come on. The Times of Israel said. The Times of who? The Times of Israel said. So the Times mm. of Israel is who determined what is hatred on Facebook. Right, huh? right, right. And bullying. Mm. Ah, okay. Read. Quaver slammed the action as anti-black Ku Klux Klan white Zionist restrictions, <laughs> the outlet reported. Now read her post. Subcontinental European Caucasian invader colonizer species with zero indigenous blood on their maternal or paternal side, just a bunch of thieving squatters Ooh. from a land mass God. north of the Medita- Mediterranean. Man, the spirit just, descended just, upon that's right. that's the yeah. She <laughs> made <laughs> to resist <laughs> under blood. She brought it all out, bro. Come on. To be Jewish is to practice a religion loosely based on the Hebraic yeah. faith. That, hey, she's been she watching class. She's been watching class. Yeah. She's been watching class. She's been watching class. She's been watching she paying attention. She says to be Jewish is to practice a religion loosely right. based, loosely right. based on the Hebraic faith. Meaning, it's loosely because you're gonna you you don't it's apply be, the it's customs. There's gonna be a few they, things in yeah, there that kind of you agree with this and you're gonna similar. use this. Right. You don't agree with that, so you toss all of right. it all the way right. out. Right. The right. hell up out of here, man! Come on back here. To to be Jewish. Has zero to do with ethnicity. Yeah, it is. That's, hey, the same hey, that thing. Oh, That's what hey, happened. Hey. That's what happened with them brothers that were sitting in the room with the Jewish man sitting right. up with them. Right. So hey. do you want to stay the ancient Israelites exactly. or you? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, unbelievable. Exactly. Hey, get that in uh, numbers. Get that in numbers because they say, "Oh, this is this is part of them practicing the uh, practicing Jewish." As a religion, loosely, because mm-hmm. they say you're Jewish by your mother. Well, let's see what the Bible says. Come on in. Read. Numbers chapter 1, verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together uh-huh. on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigree. They, de- they declared their bloodline, like she said right here. What did she say right there? A uh, what she say? Uh, Maternal and paternal. No, 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 no. She said, read that again. That uh, zero to do with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Second paragraph. To be Jewish has zero to do with ethnicity. Mm. Read on. A Japheth cannot be a Shemite. Mm. They descend from different bloodlines. Come on. Ashkenaz is great grandson of Japheth. Not Shem. Now, now she said, yeah. go, go ahead. Now she got now she got that wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Because because the Ashkenazi, whatever they want to call themselves. Nazis. You're, you're Esau. Yeah. Right. You're right. dead. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. have no shot. Exactly. <laughs> you have no shot. So she she's been taught some things or whatnot that's a little off, but what she's saying about the traits of these people, she's hundred percent right. Right, right, but, right. But these people are not they Jeff are. It. They, that's Esau. They all are day. Esau. Right. That's who they are. So, that's so right. read, read the top portion again so I can go back to the script. Subcontinental. No, 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 no. To be Jewish? Yes, sir. To be Jewish is to practice a religion loosely based on the Hebraic faith. Like your mother is what your bloodline is determined by, read. To be Jewish has zero to do with ethnicity. Now read that in Numbers. Numbers chapter 1 verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day uh-huh. of the second month. And they declared their pedigree. So they declared their bloodline. We've always declared our bloodline. What? After their families? Read. By the house of their father. So to loosely practice this religion will say, hey, your bloodline is it's determined by your, your mother. Right. If your mother's Jewish, you're 100% Jewish. You're 100% a damn liar. Right. right. You're right. the virus that the Bible is talking about. Yeah. Right. You're the virus that the sister's talking about. Right. That's, that's what you are. That's why Christ got to come back. Yeah, right. man. He got to come back. You got to put either. You got to go down, man. You got to go down. Is that all? What? What? This yeah. is... Read that, the bottom part of that. And Japheth, 
Those oh, who that's, that's they yeah, she, she, she wrong. We, she, she fell off the horse right there. Right. <laughs> she fell off the horse right there. But since you do got some understanding, hey, we pray the Lord continue to deal with you. Hey, find you another job and get up in there. But you gotta learn how to, you know what I'm saying? You gotta learn how to maneuver. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah. that you can be in the position to help your people when the time comes. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? That's what we gotta do. All right. You we're glad well, I'm about to say we're glad to take an excerpt from you in the Hebrew journal. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're glad to take an excerpt right. from you. Definitely. definitely. <laughs> hey man, we got a whole bunch of stuff to go through, but we two hours over. over hey, the I'll praise to the most high. Hey, what you got? Bring it out. Bring it out there. Yeah. Oh, bring it out there. We got more articles. I, I mean, I mean, yeah, it is what it is. Y'all stay here till five. No. The word of the day is rapacious, though. Rapacious. Yeah, rapacious. That is the word. I like That's that new word. I tell you what, go to. Go to uh, unusual clouds were spotted in the sky over the Gulf. Scroll up. So we, you, you can drop that. You can drop that right there. Because, hey, like the sisters going up, we are the Jews. Like, we ain't Jewish. Right. We ain't a uh, 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 Japheth. We ain't, we ain't none of that. You know what I'm saying? We ain't niggas and coons. We can read now. Right. And guess what? Salvation is... For the Jews, right. right? That's what that that that's that's period point blank, right. clear cut from the Bible. Hey, yeah, play that right there. Now this looks crazy. Now I ain't saying just play. I'm just play real quick. Play real quick. Bro, look at these clouds. What is going on? What is that? What is that? But look over there. There's a circle on that's uh, the actual cloud. Yeah, like a missing puzzle piece or something. What's going on here? Now that's crazy, right? Right. Now I'm not saying because the Lord, hey, the, get that in Nahum, uh, where the Lord said that the uh, clouds are, what he said, the dust of his feet. Yes, is that Nahum? Nahum one and three. Yeah, Nahum one and three. Get that for me real quick. Now I ain't saying that this was a literal chariot in disguise, but the Lord is a master of the elements of the universe. He do what he want to do. Read that. Nahum chapter one verse three. Read it. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. The Lord hath his way in the whirlwind and in the storm, and the clouds are the dust of his feet. Now, you're going to have to read that all over again because it's just a lot in there, man, and I ain't got it yet for one. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at something, man. I got lost, man. Hey, read it again, man. I'm gonna get, I got it right now. I got it right now. Yes, sir. Nahum chapter 1 verse 3. The, the Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. So the wicked is not going to be acquitted. You are the wicked and you will not be acquitted in the day of the Lord. Come on. The Lord hath his way in the whirlwind. He got his way in the whirlwind. I mean, the Lord can do what he want to do with the elements of the universe. Now, I'm not saying that that right there. Hey, put that picture up real quick. Mm. Now. Just take a hey, do. Is there one without the fire? I think there's. Is there one with just chariots? Is there is, is is there one with just chariots in the sky? Okay, just imagine the a tank not being blown up, and you tell me that what we just saw in them clouds right. that if they're not <laughs> shaped like this right here. Right. <laughs> Read that again, officer. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power. Hey, when you great in power, you can be, hey, the Lord said, I'm slow in anger because I got all power in the world to tear your ass up when I get ready to. Go he ahead. He's waiting on us. And will not at all acquit the wicked. You are the wicked and you will not be acquitted. Come on. The Lord hath his way in the whirlwind. He got his way in the world. We're, we're, we're a, whir, a whir, the whirlwind. Is, that's the, like a tornado. Yeah, that's, like, yeah that's, the, that's tornadoes. You know what I'm saying? Come on. And in the storm. And in the storm. And the clouds are the dust of his feet. He said the, the clouds are the dust of his feet. So the Lord got all power to do what he want. But when you go back to the image, when you put this image up, tell me that what we saw on those clouds don't look like this. Right. <laughs> I mean, I, I ain't, we ain't crazy, is we? Yeah, that's what it looked like. Are we right. crazy or something? No, we ain't crazy. Now, I ain't saying that that's what it was. Yeah. But I'm, what I am saying is the Lord can do what he want. And he be he be playing tricks on Esau's mind. Mm -hmm. Hey, you got, uh, we're going to play a clip. You got what they call UFOs entering military bases. Yeah. Hey, they turning off the power and power switches <laughs> and all type of stuff. All kinds of stuff. <laughs> you going to tell me the Lord can't do what he want with the clouds and the water? 
right. he got them see, he got them seeing all he got you seeing your future destruction mm-hmm. and you don't even know it. Go to the next uh the next clip. Now look, some of them know it. Oh, that's many, what they trying many, to they trying do. to stop it. They trying to stop it. Go to the one that says Pentagon watchdogs. Watchdog says uncoordinated approach to UAPs. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play that one. Why oh, they, hey, why they hey, why, read what you got? I was right, getting Why get they getting that? Go to Second Ezra thirteen, right? Uh, yeah, Second Ezra thirteen and thirty one, because as you can see in the image that was up there before, you had the military out there fighting and all of that. So we we gonna read where that image come from. Second Second Ezra chapter thirteen verse thirty one. And one shall un- undertake to fight against another, mm-hmm. and one city against another, one place against another, one people against another, and one realm against another. Go ahead. So it's going to be war going on. Go ahead. And the time shall be when these things shall come to pass, and the signs shall happen which I show thee before, and then shall my son be declared. So that's when Christ going to come back in the middle of world. So soon as World War Three kick off. Here come Christ. So what they going to do? Whom thou sawest as a man ascending. Because they saw him ascending, and he going to come back as a God. Go ahead. And when all the people hear his voice, uh-huh. every man shall in their own land leave the battle. They have one against another. So just like you saw in that picture, imagine they was fighting against each other before that chariot showed up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They was fighting against each other until that showed up. Then all of a sudden, here come Christ. Everybody quit fighting each other. And what they do, go ahead. And an innumerable multitude shall be gathered together, as thou sawest them, willing to come and to overcome him by fighting. All these people, Esau and them going to try to turn and fight Christ. Right. You know how crazy you got to be to see that coming and and you still going to try to go and fight anyway, knowing ain't no way you going to win? Crazy as hell. Go ahead. (laughs) <laughs> but he shall stand upon the top of the Mount Sion, uh-huh. and Sion shall come and shall be showed to all men. And that's when we going to be shown that we the people of God. Right. We right. going to be shown we the people of God. Go Be-, ahead. That's Being prepared right. and build it like as thou sawest the hill graven without hands. We going to get that kingdom. We're going to get that kingdom. So whenever Christ come back, you, that same war, that, that, that image that, that was put up there where you got the chariots and all the militaries out there fighting and stuff like that, Christ coming back to kill them all. He's going to oh. kill them all. All he's going to be doing is speaking the law. He's going to be blowing up. <laughs> That's, That's a crazy. sight to see, bro. <laughs> That's oh, crazy. crazy. Hey, play that next one. Pentagon Watchdog. This week, the U.S. government releasing a new report on unidentified anomalous phenomena. What now, they done changed the name on it again. <laughs> huh? Unidentified anomalous phenomena. Phenomena. Yeah, they, yeah. It's phenomenal. Ah. It's, it is phenomenal. Sleep. It's phenomenal that these things are going to destroy everything that you've built in one hour. Mm. That's right. Play. UFOs. The report found that between August of last year and April this year, the office tracking these sightings received nearly 300 reports. Some of these incidents are still under investigation because they could pose a security threat to U.S. military operations, mm. especially aviation. Uh-oh. Let's bring in Chris Impey, a professor of astronomy mm-hmm. at the University of Arizona. Chris has more than 210 publications on space and has written about past sightings. So, Chris, the report says there's no evidence that any of these objects came from outer space. Is that the final word? That's been the word for the last few years. From the but wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's been the word. The word is they don't come from outer space. Mm. <laughs> you see what's going on here? <laughs> the word is they don't come from outer space. How, where, 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 did, where did it come from? You don't find that yeah. suspicious. Right, right, right. <laughs> if they don't find that suspicious. They don't come from outer space. Then where they, where they come from then? You know, they got they have sightings of uh, of of chariots, that which we know them as, mm-hmm. the chariots of God. Right. right. They have sightings of loads of chariots passing through space from their satellites that they got set up set up there to take pictures. They have the images. Mm. But now they come they they'll come on news and say, well, we don't know that they're coming if they're coming from outer space. It's said that they don't know. Hey, bro, I was in the military and my job was an operation specialist on radars. We track UFOs every single day. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, they go, they, your, your phone on? Right, right, right. right. <laughs> Can't play. Black out his image, man. Right, right, right. Black out his face. Hey, they about to cut his mic on right now. Yeah, 
Silhouette. Uh, I gotta put a silhouette in him now. <laughs> oh, praise. Bring it out. Go on back to the video. They talking about they don't know if they come out of space. The congressional uh, reports to, to U.S. Congress. It, it's been consistent. Nobody's seen little green men yet. Okay, so have officials made the data available to outside experts for an independent review? They, are, they will make all the unclassified data available, and the data that the NASA committee is is studying, hundreds of reports, is also going to be made available. So, Paul, so stuff. look, this info, they, they, they choose what they want to make available yep. and what, and they, what they, they don't want to, what they want to hang on to yep. in their little secret votes or whatnot. Yep. So they, 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 they know what time it is. They just can't tell people that because they know them damn cherries is for black people. Right. Exactly. Them damn exactly. things, ain't for, they ain't for exactly. white folks. They ain't and for no other nations. Man, you mean if they knew, it was, if they thought it was for them, they wouldn't have that joint out there. Man, they be no. raping, they be ra ra raving, how you say? Ravaging. Yeah, no, not, they, they be uh, uh, celebrating. Right. Right, right, right. Raving about it. Raving yeah. about the fact right. that these things, like, these are our friends. They're, they're, they're going to take us to visit, you know, out of, they would be on steroids right. with this thing. <laughs> if it was for them. Right, right. But they know that. They know right. it ain't for them. We done right. jacked up and messed with the people of God. And that's and they, why they, they, that's right. I'm about to say, they can't report on little green men because when they saw the angels, they, they have black, black faces. Right. <laughs> exactly. They have black faces. They, they can't report on them. Right. And, and how you all they, right. And how do they, give wisdom of Solomon 5 verse 1. Come on. Really? This is how they're going to know. Hmm. This is how they do know who they're dealing with and what those, those objects that they see in the sky is dealing with and what it's about. Read that. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 1. Go ahead. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness. You're witnessing the righteous men standing yep. in great boldness today out there preaching this gospel to the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, trying to wake them up. Read on. Before the face of such as have afflicted Right in the face of the same people that are afflicting yep. us now and, and, and them oppressing us now. Read. And made no account of his labors. Read on. When they see when it. When they see it, read. They shall be troubled with terrible fear. They're going to be troubled with terrible fear when they see those UAPs up there. Read. And shall be amazed. They're going to be amazed at what? At the strangeness of his salvation. Because we're going to be the ones taken up in those UFOs. And those UFOs are the ones that's going to be destroying this place here. Read. Right, right. So far beyond all that they look for. Because they can't fathom that thing. They can't fathom how we're going to be taken up in those chariots that come for us. Yep. Based off the teachings that is going on now in our society. Yes, it sir. says beyond all that they've looked for. That's why they withhold the information. Damn. So when it happened, it's going to be an amazement. Oh, right. praise. It's going to be an amazement. Hey, play on in the video. Let's see what let's see what Lil Edie Mike talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Um, has to go through. Stop. Very read that. Read that. Read that. Pentagon's UFO report. Two hundred seventy-four report reports of UAPs. Unidentified anomalous anomalous <laughs> phenomena. Whatever. <laughs> no evidence UAPs from outer space may be foreign foreign in origin. Most reports from military restricted airspace. Some reports from commercial pilots. Hey, hey. So, so you telling me that it's a they're foreign in origin, but it's from the earth. Right, right. It ain't come from out of space. Yeah, hey, but hey. it's at the same time it's foreign in origin, but it ain't from the earth. But it's but it's not from out of space. Hey, look, it says <gasps> some reports right. from commercial <laughs> pilots. So this thing flies, obviously, uh, right. right? It flies. <laughs> right, right. Well, why haven't y'all located the base? Yet? Right, right. right. Since, since, if, since, it ain't, if it ain't coming from out of space, it ain't coming from out of space. Why can't you find the base? That's why right. they say it's foreign at the same time. We just looked at a map where this man, this this man has covered the whole earth mm. with his policy, with 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 his uh, uh military Eight, base, hundred and something bases. Yeah. But he ain't he ain't find where that base came from. That that nah. the uh, fl that that, that uh, unified anomalous phenomena came from. <laughs> Unified. What did he say? He said unified. You know what I mean. I'm from the country too, Marshall. It's not, or it's not orange bird. It's not orange bird. So you mean to tell me you got all these bases, but you have you not find figured one. out where this unidentified object came from? No. You don't find that suspicious? It ain't go back to uh, one of them bases that you got set up on the other side of Korea. Right. It ain't go back world. to one of them bases that you got set up on the other side of Africa. Right. Why did you track it? <laughs> if it's not from outer space, right. come on, man, stop playing with us, man. Stop playing oh, with the Lord, oh, man. Play. Um, some first reports procedure. from commercial pilots. No, no, go ahead, man. Press play. So I'm not sure 
others, civilians will get to see that. Right, I know all about declassification. So what do we know about that data that is classified? Any hints? Well, I think it's mostly classified because it, it, it occurs, um, you know, near military bases or whatever. And I suspect <laughs> the type of data we're looking at involves radars or particular imaging devices that the military just doesn't want to publicize. So it's not a question of what the data shows. It's a question of the detectors that they're using. So this is really a question of sources and methods and revealing how good uh, the U.S. military uh, techniques are. Exactly. It's a sort of intelligence issue. Same would be with the intelligence agencies. Okay, so let's go. Man, a look, give me Jeremiah, on. man. Yo. Give me Jeremiah 23. <laughs> I'm, wait, I'm waiting on the image to show. I'm waiting on the one part of this whole thing. Give me, give me Jeremiah 23. They say they normally, they mainly occur around military, military. bases. Why do you think that's so? Mm. Because your military bases are going to be destroyed, man. Right, right. That thing is going to be blown right. to smithereens. Mm. When them, when, them world, when, when, when them chariots come. Read that. Jeremiah 23, verse 19. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 19. Read it out. Behold, a whirlwind of the Lord is going forth in fury. This is the this is the chariots of the Lord, man. Go ahead, put them images up there. Yeah, put that up there. Come on. Even a grievous whirlwind. Say this is a grievous whirlwind. This thing is a destroying whirlwind. Come on. It shall fall, it shall fall grievously upon the head of the mm -hmm. wicked. That's why they're only spotted around these military bases. Right. America is the most wicked that ever existed. Right. She's more wicked than her counterparts that came before her. So these sightings are mainly found amongst her military bases. Mm -hmm. Read that part again. Behold, a whirlwind of the Lord is going forth in fury. Even a grievous whirlwind, uh -huh. it shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. It's going to fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. What you say? Read on. The anger of the Lord shall not return. So when these things go to destroy it says the anger of the Lord, it ain't going to return, man. Come on. Until he have executed, until he have performed the thoughts of his heart. So these, these chariots are performing the thoughts of the Lord. Yes. Right. These chariots are performing the thoughts of the Lord. Mm. Meaning the Lord, he just sitting there thinking, this one going to do this. This one, you got shit blowing up every day. <laughs> read that last part, though. Oh, we going to read it. Read yeah, on. Yeah. <laughs> in the latter days. In what? In the latter days. Come on. Ye shall consider it perfectly. What is them things right there? What is that? This is a phenomenon. Right. And if, you, if you're reading the Bible... It's going to make a lot of sense. I want to get that in Habakkuk. Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 11. Consider it perfectly. These things are going to be brought to your attention in these last days. Go ahead. Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 11. Go ahead. The sun and moon stood still so in their habitation. Time is going to stop. Go ahead. At the light of thine arrows they went. Uh -huh. And at the shining of thy glittering spear. That's going into mm -hmm. missiles. Go ahead, mm -hmm. read. Thou didst march through the land in indignation. So, all, the reason why they got to look at these things, they want to see what is it going to do. Is yeah. it, it, did it come in peace or right. is it coming in war? God says it's coming in indignation, wrath. Right. Right. Wrath right. is going to be brought with these uh, UFOs, as they say. Go ahead, read on. Thou didst thresh the heathen in anger. Who is the heathen? Every other nation outside of the nation of Israel. Now, if you got any That's questions, right. if you're not a so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American... You are heathen. You done. Right. You're done. <laughs> God is going to come back in anger to deal with you. Get the Lord a hand for that thing. Right. 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 Give the Lord, give the Lord a hand. Give the Lord a hand for that thing. Consider it perfectly. Consider it perfectly, man. Read on. Verse 13. Thou wentest forth for the salvation of thy people. Who is God's people? Mm. Huh? The Israelites. That's right. Right. The right. ancient Israelites. That's right. right. Nowadays called the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We got food here in Bring America. Bring it out. But God says... Those UFOs are going to be the salvation of his people. That's our salvation. Read on. Right. Even for salvation with thine anointed. Go ahead. Thou wouldest, thou, thou woundest the head out of the house of the wicked. So Esau, for all that you've done to our people, we appreciate you. We definitely appreciate you. Because God is going to come back to wreak judgment upon your head. Four. He's going to wound your head, read. By discovering the foundation unto the next. So, all the evils that he's done to us. We're discovering that thing with 
considering the Bible perfectly, understanding it, and we're going to cut it. Christ is going to cut their heads off. Read the last word. Sila. Sila. Mm. So oh, be that with all praises, praises, all to, the praises to the most high God. Hey, pull up this clip right here because I was right down with Aton. Aton. Yeah, man, A-time. I'm, wait, I'm A-time. waiting A-time. on it. Yeah, yeah. A-time. yeah. You, oh, have, it you have everybody saying it wrong. Yeah, yeah I know. I it's spelling right. it wrong, too. <laughs> hey, say it wrong, <laughs> spell it wrong, I mean, all because of you. That's been the way it's been since we met. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, brother. It's also Officer Yashala's fault, too. He still ain't fixed it. You try. He ain't it, 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 what I'm it saying, is. He, that's my brother. You know <laughs> he know if I say I thought or a time. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. <laughs> hey, press play on that one. Investigative journalist and co-host of the Weaponized podcast, Jeremy Corbell, is the one who released that video. And today he dropped yet another image of a separate UFO sighting. It's oh, no. <laughs> so he done, this brother right here, this he guy right here. He dropped another video. He done put out a couple of videos. He they scared the in hell, man. They don't know what's going on. All <laughs> praises. Play. Chandelier UFO. Because Pause it. Shape. Look at that thing. Look at that thing right now. <laughs> Call it a chandelier UFO. They're like, what in the hell is this? This, what is this man, and where is it coming from? Surely it's not coming from out of space. So where the hell is it coming from there? Where, where could something like this come from on the Earth? Right. Who huh? makes it? Who makes these? Sony. You know? <laughs> hell no. Play on, man. A new documentary series hosted by Corbell shows the moment he speaks to an unidentified U.S. intelligence official about this puzzling image. Mm. So what was the most impressive thing to you about this video, which the world has not seen yet? The fact that it is, it makes no sense. It is just the most bizarre structure with no purpose. Oh, pause, pause, pause. I'm talking about no purpose. I just read the purpose. You just read the purpose, right. purpose of that thing. You right. know what the purpose You just don't want to tell everybody. You don't want, you don't want to accept what the purpose of it is. Uh, right. That's right. what that is. No, it, it's created. He said it's a bizarre structure. Because, yeah, the Lord, come on, man. The Lord gave y'all understanding on how to create planes. He gave you the understanding on how to make a damn uh, a shuttle to go to the moon. Right. You don't think the Lord has it reserved for the greatest of his angels to construct a, 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 a vessel that travels between <laughs> realms? Right. Come on, man. Hey. What, you, what you created can only travel to earth. Right. What God created is bizarre because it travels through realms. Right. It travels the worlds outside of this world. And it has. Yeah, thank and, you for the bomb. Thank, thank you for, you for the bomb. I was waiting. And, I was over here right. shaking my head like, where the bomb at, man? It has a purpose. <laughs> its purpose is uh, to destroy white people. First play. Dang. All right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> everyone across the industry is just asking questions and trying to figure out what this thing is. There is no wings. There is seemingly no place for anyone to sit on. Hold on, pause, 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 <laughs> oh, pause. Somebody, somebody, good, The good. thing said, it said it has no wings. There is essentially no place for mm. it to sit on. Go back to Jeremiah. Mm. Why they got no place for nobody to sit on? Why don't this thing got a place for nobody to sit? Ain't nobody flying it. In other words, there's mm. nobody flying this thing. Mm. Go back there in Jeremiah, and I want verse 20. Come on. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 20. The anger of the Lord shall not return until he have executed. Until he have executed, performed. Until he have performed the thoughts of his heart. So it ain't got nowhere to sit because the Lord is controlling it with his thoughts. It's moving off of the thoughts of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, man. Hey, hey, right. hey listen. We got to go to Ezekiel chapter 1, man. Okay. Go to Ezekiel Finish this real quick. chapter 1. Finish this and then get Ezekiel. <laughs> Come on, man. Read. In the latter days. In the latter days. Ye shall consider it perfectly. In the latter days, you're going to consider perfectly why ain't nobody sitting on you. Because you can't beat this. <laughs> right. This ain't something you can shoot a bomb at. Right. This ain't something you can shoot a missile at and destroy. It ain't even nobody on it to destroy. Right. <laughs> Y'all crazy. Hey, the Lord, the Lord is hey. That's a cold all praise thing, to the yeah. most high. Hey, get out of Ezekiel. Yeah, hey, go to Ezekiel 1 and go to 19. Ezekiel chapter 1, verse 19. Because remember, we read about the angels, right? Go ahead. And when the living creatures went, that's the angels, they black angels. Go ahead. The wheels went by them. No, they went, no, they was inside of the chariot. The wheels went by them. Go ahead. 
And when the living creatures were lifted up from the earth, Go ahead. the wheels were lifted up. Go ahead. Whithersoever the spirit was to go. Whithersoever right. the spirit was to go. Go ahead. They went. Uh-huh. Thither was their spirit to go. Go ahead. And the wheels were lifted up over against uh-huh. them. For the spirit of the living creatures was in the wheel. Oh, 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 oh my right. God! Ooh. Yo, that is crazy. Yo, hey, so they, so they, hey, go over there. That's where it go. Right. Listen. <laughs> right. I right, listen. Boy, ain't no way y'all can run, bro. It's over with. It's done. Hey, you, do, hey, you can't run from this hill. You can't go to Mars. You can't go to Pluto. You can't get away from this hill because the Lord could just blink his eye and be like, go over there. <laughs> hey, can we get Zechariah two and one, five and two? Y'all brothers cooking right now, man. <laughs> Zechariah five and two. Yes, sir. Zechariah chapter five, verse two. And he said unto me, what seest thou? That's what the white man's saying. Hey, <laughs> what is that? It's a bizarre, a bizarre object. <laughs> and I answered, I see a flying roll. That's what mm. you see, a flying roll. Uh-huh. Read. The length thereof is 20 cubits. That's 40 feet well, long. Read. And the breadth thereof 10 cubits. That's 20 feet high. Then said he unto me, this is the curse. What is it? This mm. is the curse. <laughs> That's the curse. Read. <laughs> that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. Sheesh. We everywhere. Read. For every one that stealeth. That want to steal a black man and drop him <laughs> off on the other side of the earth. Shall be cut off. He got to go. He got to <laughs> die. <laughs> Sheesh. As on this side according to it. Read. And every one that sweareth uh-huh. shall be cut off as on the on that side according to it. Guess right. what? Destruction is coming. Right. And ain't nothing you can do about it. <laughs> nothing. We don't need no bombs. We don't need no, That's why we don't gotta take up no arms, man. We don't need your bullets. We don't need nothing from you. But hey, the best thing you can do is. Leave us alone. That's it. That's Leave right. us alone. And, and look, the Lord has made this man rebellious, stiff neck. Right. He raised him up. His pride has got him at another level. You hey. ain't going to leave us alone. Hey, this new Pharaoh you, is being made yeah. to do what he's you doing. Know, you're going to do exactly <laughs> what the Lord wants you to do. And, and we know that persecution is coming. We know these things are coming. But guess what else is coming? These chandeliers that nobody ain't sitting right. on. They, right. they, they coming too. Chandelier. Coming too. Hey, go back to the video. Play, play. We're going to get out of here in a minute, man. We, had, we, over, we, we oh, way man. out there. We way out there now, y'all. It's all good. Though. Come on. It's our shape. All right. We have the picture of the chandelier UFO, as it's being called. But where's the video? Let's bring in investigative journalist Jeremy Corbell to find out. So what's the answer? Where's the video, Jeremy? <laughs> Yeah, that, that's part of the story, and I, I think I'm going to have to answer that at another time. But I, I will say this. Uh, wow. Is that right. there another is time. more footage. That is a fact. So some people got to see portions of it within the intelligence community, and I'm so happy. Now, hold on, pause. Mm-hmm. I'm going to show y'all something that y'all ain't. Like, I'm going to show y'all something, how they, what, how they, what they're doing. Pull it back up. Pull the image back up, because I need y'all to understand what's going on right here. Jeremy looks now, nervous. Jeremy, Jeremy is not Jeremy. Mm. That's AI. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's AI. That's not Jeremy. <laughs> Ooh, we. That is an AI image. That is, Dang. That is AI, bro. Because you can look <laughs> Where's at Where's the ball? Look right. at his that's ear. Look, hey, look at his ear. <laughs> yeah. It ain't no real ear. That's AI, bro. That's not that's not real. Why? Because they're talking on they're talking about intelligence at another level right now. They're talking about military information right now. <laughs> That ain't him. That ain't him. I knew nobody was gonna get it. <laughs> I didn't get it. I knew I nobody was gonna get it. Your eyebrows do look perfect now when you look at this. No, oh, that's AI, that's AI, bro. Man. That's not. Oh, that's not a snap. real. Now we'll see. What, what we're using is you can come up. You can come back to to, to wow. the screen right now. <laughs> what we're, what we're what we're used to. Here's what Esau did. They gave us Chat GPT three. They've even given us access to uh, Chat four. GPT four. But the technology is really at 15. Mm. Right. Sheesh. They just can't release. You don't notice. You, when you back it up a little bit and you watch how smooth his words are. Right. You see how smooth everything is that he's saying when it comes out? Back it up and hit play <laughs> on it. This is that there is more footage. That is a fact. You see this? So some people got to see portions now, of it within the entire press community. Press pause. Now. The technology that we have right now is not that, it ain't that smooth. Yeah. It ain't it ain't as fluid as that. Damn. It ain't as fluid as that. 
And I was thinking earlier, all those other Edomites we were looking at, their eyes was all crooked. That, right. Those are the <laughs> mutant. German and Germans. <laughs> they, the mutants. They were the, hey, you, the, the regular mutants. German right. talking about, we reading about destruction of the, these damn things is bringing destruction to the earth. Germany ain't putting itself on the screen. Uh, no. <laughs> he ain't putting himself out there. Dang. That is AI. That is artificial intelligence that we're looking at right there. But we're going to listen to your voice. We're going to listen to your voice, Jeremy, because we don't give a damn about your picture. Whatever your face look like, just know that these th these chariots, they're coming for your ass, too. You can't, you, can't, you can hide your face from us, but you can't hide it from the Lord. Right. Right. That's right. First play. And I'm so happy that people are coming forward. That's kind of the point of why you put some of this stuff out. There is a bigger story to tell. The object did go into the water. That mug looked different than y'all now. Minutes. Yeah, his ears ain't looking at everything. At back that part up. Wait, back wait. it up again. Back it back, 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 back. No, so yeah, yeah. went into the Play. water for 17 minutes. Community, and I'm so happy that people are coming forward. That's kind of the point of why you put some of this stuff out. There is a bigger story to tell. The object did go into the water. Pause. So it ain't come. It ain't came from outer space. Mm -hmm. They have not found out where it's located on the Earth. But can does the does the U.S. military possess planes that can go into the water mm. and come out of the water? Not this no, thing went in. seventeen minutes. It went into the water for seventeen minutes, man. <laughs> and then came and back, came back out. That's crazy. Bro, they don't understand. We don't fully understand the <laughs> salvation. That's why we, we right. hey, they're going to be shocked at our salvation, but we are going to be sh more shocked yep. while we're being saved. Right, right. From the, like, the Lord, hey, y'all praise the most high in Israel. Like, just got to get it right here on the earth, man. Right. Keep, keep pushing and keeping these commandments, man. Press play. For 17 minutes, and then it did come out and shoot off at an extraordinary speed. Pause it. Wait, are you <laughs> It came out of the water. And shoot hey, off hey, he probably at an went down there. Speed. Hey, bro, that, he probably, hey, he probably had the thing going down there and feed them up. Leviathan. Hey, went down there, fed Leviathan. You know, conversed with Leviathan, and then it shot out, came out of the water, and shot away at an extraordinary speed. So where it go? Right. <laughs> Come on, man, y'all keep playing with the Lord. Play on. Talking about the jellyfish UFO or the chandelier UFO? Right. So let's separate the two for your audience. It's yeah. two of them. That it's two of them. UFO. You got the chandelier UFO and the, jelly, and the jellyfish. They call one a jellyfish. We're about to see the image of one of them. Yeah. Play yeah, on. that's what Strange I'm Strange morphology. I mean, it looks like a jellyfish. And because it went in the water, we dubbed it that. Some people called it the spaghetti monster. There it is. There it is. Awesome. But the other Pause it. That this is military footage. This is military footage of what they call the jellyfish. No, no, no. This, this is the chandelier. This one right here is the. This is the chandelier because it's shaped like a chandelier. Read. I mean, I'll uh, play. The chandelier. It's because if you look at it from the bottom, it looks like a chandelier. They're two separate events. Military filmed <laughs> footage of <laughs> that mug is on a military Bro. base, man. Yeah, like, what the hell? So I'm talking about the jellyfish ufo is the one that actually showed transmedium capability it did go into the water transmedium capability shoot off at an extraordinary speed when you say these were videos were were made by the military made by what kinds of cameras on what kinds of equipment yeah it was actually called the mx20 was the the actual system but the, we have surveillance platforms to protect bases so so this is the first time in history we are seeing a designated UAP, an unknown and unidentified, that it is moving into a restricted base. It is an incursion, in fact. So this is the first time you're seeing that. We've heard about this, how UFOs will come in, they'll turn on or shut down nuclear weapons in Russia. And Pause it. <laughs> the UFOs come in, they shut down, turn off. Nuclear weapons. Bro, you cannot make this up, bro. Holding back the winds, man. You cannot make this up. The, 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 these, exactly. These are the angels that are holding back the wind, man. Right. They are like, nope, it ain't time yet. Turn that right. off. Matter of fact, let me cut this clip right here and make you search for three months on how to fix on it. how to fix it. Right. God, this, is, this is ridiculous. Press play. Well, this is the first time you're seeing footage of an incursion of a designated UAP by our intelligence agencies. 
But when you say, I mean, you know, when we say designated UAP, that it has been designated a UAP by our intelligence agencies, that doesn't mean it's alien life. It just means we don't know what it is, right? Oh, correct. Yeah, <laughs> we, we don't know what it is. It's unidentified, which is very dangerous to have something that you don't know its capability sure. or intent. That is a big deal. So UAPs in general, I don't even know where they're from, who's controlling them. But the fact that they can outpace, outmaneuver and outperform it everything is. we have, that is an issue. Pause. Yeah, he <laughs> says outpace. it can outmaneuver, outpace and out something else. Perform. Outperform out anything that we have. That is a piece that is a problem. Right. We have a problem, Houston. Houston, Houston right. we, we have, have a problem. problem. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, your problem is called Jesus Christ. Right. right. In the in the angels, what are they? Psalm sixty eight. What's the one? What's the one in Psalms? I think it's Psalm sixty eight. Psalm sixty eight seventeen. That's it. Yep. That's Read it. that. Psalms chapter sixty eight verse seventeen. Read it. The chariots of God are 20,000. So what you going to do when you got 20,000 of them boys on the earth, man? Right. You can't do nothing. I'm scared about one. And look, <laughs> officer just read, it's 40 feet long. <laughs> and 20 high. And 20 high. <laughs> what you going to do with that? Nothing. 20,000 of them? Read on. Even thousands of Angels. Even what? Even thousands of angels. So you got to deal with 20,000 of them. Them spirits right out there. Thousands of angels. <laughs> what are you going to do when the boogeyman come for you? <laughs> right. <laughs> this dude turning the whole cold. Right, right, right. Right. <laughs> and them the scouts. Yeah. Right, you know what I'm saying? Them the scouts. They ain't, imagine, what, imagine what Christ coming in. Hey, no. What? No. Read on. Right, Read on. The Lord is among them. Man, you right. can't do nothing. You're a bomb, man. Listen, man. you got 20,000 chariots. You got thousands, thousands of, of angels and, and the Lord. Hey, Christ. Man, listen, just lay down, Stop man. Right. Just lay down, man. Stop just lay down, it. man. Stop it. Just lay down. Just, just, just leave it alone, man. Right. There's nothing. You, you can't do nothing. You can't have That's fun. Right. Have fun now. But you're going to pay for all that ish later, bro. Right. Right. All of it's coming back to you, man. Read on. As in Sinai, in the holy place. That's all I want from that. Or do I want to? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to leave. I'm going to drop that right there, man. I'm going to drop it right there. We could go. But, uh, go back to the video. Right. I'm getting there. I'm, uh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Doing something. All praises. That we don't have the technology to do, and we have supposedly the most sophisticated military. Supposedly, right supposedly, anyway, but mm. not really. The Lord has the most. The Lord gave you the understanding. Come on, you ain't got the most sophisticated. Play on. It's a problem. Okay. <laughs> 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 Back it up, man. It's, it's a problem. Back it up, man. What he said <laughs> right there, Papa Lee. Supposedly, the most sophisticated military on earth right now. It's a problem. <laughs> this analyst that you interviewed in the documentary about the chandelier uh, video said that that UFO quote made no sense. What did he? What was he talking about? And and what else is unusual about that one? Right. So to answer your first question, why is it an image and not a video? Because as a journalist, I can obtain and release certain things that do not uh, have a problem with national security. It doesn't jeopardize our national security. So sometimes when I obtain things, I can create uh, and put out a still image from a video. But there, there are sensitive things about releasing military film footage, especially incursions in military bases. So the chandelier one, you're seeing an image like the Mosul Orb, which is another military film UAP that I put out with George Knapp, my mentor in journalism, right? So this is just another image. Now, I hope the full video of the chandelier UAP does come out. Nah, We're they ain't putting having, it out. Um, you know, pressure from inside a government to get answers from the inspector general of the intelligence community. But as a journalist, I can put this out in good conscience and say, this is what's going on now. Why it was unique. Well, the heat signature is unlike anything I've ever seen before, but also the people that have seen the full videos within the intelligence community, they report to me that there's no flight control surfaces. They don't know how this thing was maneuvering the way it was. <laughs> hey, check this out. <laughs> they, yeah, hey, they don't know what's going on. Right. Hey, play this last video real quick. Then we're gonna we're gonna have to shut it down. Play. Uh, I'm about to post it right now. Jorim posting all kind of stuff on the showroom. Uh, play this. <laughs> he posting it for now. <laughs> hey, play this. Play this. Play this video. This clip that I. This uh, clip that I'm uh on YouTube. 
Because they don't know, like, it outperforms everything that they have ever created. There's nothing on earth that can uh, co- that can compete with what the Lord has. Right. You can just, you can cancel it. All right? Start that over and play it. Play that. February 2020, an Airbus A320 is on a routine flight soaring over Medellin, Colombia. Little does the captain know he's about to find out he's sharing the friendly skies. The pilot does us the favor of showing his altimeter, and we can see that he's flying uh, around 30,000 feet in altitude. The pilot then points his camera phone out of the cockpit window and watch this as he zooms in. Look at that. A metallic looking object, a polyhedron of some sort, whizzes by in a straight line. We slow it down and zoom in further. You can see it kind of looks like a cube. It has uh, these kind of little points that stick out. It does seem to be darker in color and not um, like a bright, shining balloon. Whatever this is, it definitely shouldn't be there. One theory is that if we were visited by another civilization, they might send probes ahead of when they actually come. Feb- all right, that's all I want on that. But and we're going to stop right there. But the point is, look at man. All praise to the most I'm an Israelite. Right. Boy, that's it, right. You're not. It just sucks to be you. Sucks <laughs> to be you. And for those that are watching the show, uh, you're enjoying the show, we appreciate you. But look, we got we got to get ourselves together. This salvation that 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 uh is gonna come with the angels and the Lord from these chariots are for the repenting or repented Israelites who get it right, right. in this la- in these last right. days. We got to focus on keeping the Lord's commandments, purging ourselves from our iniquities, and getting our lives right for the for the kingdom that we are trying to inherit. All right. Right. So that's uh, right. That's gonna conclude our show for the day. Even though we don't want to go, we'll be back next week, Lord willing. Lord. So that being said, my name is Officer Kalaya. To my right, Officer Aton. To my far right, Officer Yuanthan Yasharala. To my left, Officer Yuanthan Kasa. Far left. Officer Marshall. And I'll read it today. Officer Yaina. And you've been tuned into a new episode of the TFT Radio Show. We appreciate you all. If you want to help us out, then you can do so by sending your donation funds to iuic.columbia.sc at israelunite.org. We'd really appreciate it. We're going to try to get like into our book book collection going and all that too. You know what I mean? So, uh, hey, man, y'all stay tuned, all right? With that, we say shalom. Most high in Christ bless. Shalom. 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 Christ bless. Most high in Christ bless. I carry my cross on my back. My homie's still stuck in the trap. Going hard, ain't no time to relax. Keeping my mind on the throne. Applying the stuff I've been shown. Been pacing through all of my walls. Been pacing through all of my walls. And I'm out here painting this picture. It came from the scriptures. I'm changing my mind now. And I've been examples. I've seen some examples. So I think it's just about time now. To break the old habits and clean all the addicts. And yes, we are changing our life now. And when life gives us lemons, we turn into vengeance. We're stronger than the Lord and His might now. I just cannot stay the same All the wisdom I've been given I spent hoping with the pain And the people that I love They think that I've gone insane When it gets pretty and look at real If they pull up and show they fans, yeah It's a blood in my veins, yeah I cannot stand to complain, yeah Put it easy as a change, yeah Put it easy as a shame, yeah I'm the only one to blame, yeah So I've been switching my lanes, yeah Before the soul of my chain, yeah I'm just willing to blame, yeah Straight true to religion, it's only a few to stay true and some tripping. Danger if you got no clue when you slipping. It's time to renew and stop foolishly sinning. Cause we the ones set apart from the beginning. All that is filled with the thing that's forbidden. Walking in life and I move with no vision. I'm moving like fuck to my mind, steady swimming. Oh.